Hello everybody, today we are going to see how to read NetCDF files and plot it in MATLAB. So NetCDF files are those that have name extension .nc. Uh, these are self-describing files of array-oriented scientific data. Uh, this way to store, write, and read data was developed in the University Corporation of Atmospheric Research in the late 1980s. So as you can imagine, this format is commonly used in climatology, meteorology, and oceanography. So first, what we are going to do is create a, a, the variable file name, which will be equal to the actual file of our netcdf file. This is just the result of a climate simulation. And we are going to use ncdisp of the file just to see some attributes. Uh, there you can see the source of this file, the format, which is classic. Uh, you can go to this website if you want to see another kinds of formats and know more about netcdf. Also some global attributes as the history of the file and the dimensions that are used, uh, that the variables use in the netcdf file, which are actually time, latitude, and longitude, and the size of them. And here we have the variables. So here you can explore them. There are a lot of, a lot of them. And as you can see, these variables like precip have their own size their own dimensions and their, their own attributes. One of them is uh, the long name, which in this case is total precipitation rate, that in certain way will describe you what, what is the variable. So, well, I already know that the variable that I'm interested in is in the surface temperature, so I will call it temp, and I will read that variable using ncread of the file name, and I specify the name of the variable, which is surf temp. So here we, here we go, I have the matrix already. So first, let me just subtract uh, 273.15, just to have this matrix in Celsius, because it was in Kelvin. Uh, those units are used to solve all, all the fundamental equations in physics. So now that we have it here, we will going to transpose it just to have it like in the normal way as we see all the maps. And then uh, the dimensions of the temperature are also longitude and latitude that are not only dimensions, but are also variables. So let's create the variable longitude equals to nc read the file name and the longitude variable and the latitude equals to nc read the variable latitude that is in the file name specified by the variable file name. Okay. So then we are going to create a figure called, let's say, my map that will be equal to the figure that creates the command p color, which is actually a two dimensions color of pixels that will have the x in the x axis will be the longitude and y axis the latitude and the set values the temp. So, okay, we have this figure. And first of all, uh, let's get rid of these squares that are actually the edges of the pixels. So we can do that using mymap.edge alpha. Alpha is for transparency, so let's put it equal to zero, completely transparent. So you will have it like that. And also just to use it as guidelines, let's load the coast lines. These are already in MATLAB, so you just need to put load coast, then put just hold on, just to keep this figure as you have it already, and to plot more things above it. So what you are going to plot, 
plot above is uh, the new variable long that was loaded uh, with the load command and lat in color black. So here you have the half of the coastlines. Uh, this is just because the other half is to the to the left. So just plot the second half by adding 360 to the uh, longitude and also put it in black. And here you have it. Also, you can uh, show the color bar that shows you the relation of the values to the colors. And here you can use the command C axis. Uh, just to change these these thresholds, as you can see, the, the the color blue is for values below minus 60, and the color yellow is for values above 40. So you can change that using C axis. Let's put from minus 10 to 30, and as you see, it changed. Maybe uh, you can see better the patterns that are near to the equator here. And finally, you can show the X label, which is the longitude, the Y label, which is the latitude, and just put title, which could be the temperature in degrees Celsius. And well, that's all. You have your figure there. You can uh, click here to save it as figure in MATLAB or as any other kind of image that you want. Uh, you can find all these commands right down in this uh, in this link, which is a repository where you will also find uh, more more commands just to explore in other ways your net CDF file. So go for it, explore and plot all, all your data or, or the data you want here using MATLAB. Thank you for watching and that's all for now. Bye bye.